it's good everybody welcome back to the model for three video in this video i'm going to show you guys how to open up the brand new dark ether rift in season three reloaded if you haven't already make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get right into it i know there's two little face cams here i apologize uh, it's a little confusing but basically you want to do the act for story mission the one that came out today uh, after you beat the boss inside the story mission it's going to give you a dark ether reward rift and inside the reward rift is going to be the first item which is the purified uh, giraffe toy i don't know if that's what it's called but it's basically what it is it's like a, a toy giraffe and it's gold so you want to make sure throughout this whole process you do not lose this item very important if you lose this item the only way to get it back is from replaying the entire story mission and uh, getting up to this reward rift which you then have to like actually complete the mission uh, to leave so make sure before you do anything you grab the toy giraffe. The next item is actually over here at the Zohor Ranch in I-7 and like the bottom right side of the map. Uh, basically, you're going to go inside. You have death perception. You can see like footsteps and stuff that lead to exactly where it is. But it, regardless, you just go inside, go into this bedroom. Uh, under the bed right here is going to be this like gold item. And pretty much you walk up to it. I'm not sure if you interact with it or if you shoot it. I don't really know exactly which one worked, but basically you just mess with it and then eventually the entity is going to speak to you. Uh, there's no boss or anything like that. Uh, the entity talks for a little bit and then the item will spawn in a reward rift inside the room. I think this is the drawing pretty sure this is the color drawing yeah the, the imaginary friend drawing the next item is the laptop and pretty much you want to spawn in a dog you can either bring in a dog bone or have three pieces of meat and take it to one of the dog houses around the map uh, you want to spawn in a dog and then go to a mercenary camp have the dog kill the sergeant it was a little glitchy for me right here but eventually the dog you spawn in is going to kill the sergeant uh, i will spawn in a reward rift and again, it'll give you the laptop with stickers. And the final item is going to be in the Stormcaller area of the map. Uh, you don't want to actually kill the Stormcaller. You want to kill zombies while you're inside the storm with the Stormcaller. So the Stormcaller is going to spawn in a bunch of zombies, uh, make a bunch of zombies stronger. All you want to do is farm zombies. And eventually, a reward rift is going to spawn. I'll go ahead and fast for... Oh! wait i don't actually have to fast forward it there's the rift and as you guys can see the final item the science journal once you have all the items you want to now get some gear get some perks go over to the tier three zone it's gonna get a little crazy all right so as you saw me do right there you want to start this first ritual look on the ground there's like a little triangle that actually points to where the runes are that you have to shoot but anyways you shoot these three runes it's going to start a ritual on the other side of this area I'll show you guys exactly where to run. Uh, you basically just run over here. And the way these rituals work is wherever you're standing, you have to look at this triangle and connect the triangle. You guys can see right here is where like it actually starts the ritual. It doesn't start until I actually look at it at the right angle. But pretty much you start the ritual. You will see an option to perform the summoning. And it's going to take one of your three items. All you have to do now is kill zombies inside this little circle. Uh, you kill a certain amount of zombies. It's probably, it feels like a lot. It feels like like 50 zombies. But you kill the zombies and eventually the summoning will end. It's going to spawn in a very strong enemy. So this time uh, we got like a boss uh, dog. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got a boss dog. We kill the dog really fast. And we get the reward rift. Oh wait, it spawns back up top. So go ahead, run back up top. And as you guys can see, we get the gold science journal, the attuned relic. The next ritual is over in this area. Uh, you want to again shoot these three different runes as you guys see me do right here. And then you want to go to the roof that's actually like right above you. I'll show you guys exactly where to stand so you can start the ritual yourself. Uh, this is where my friend was actually giving me my laptop back because I let him hold it. We were a little confused. But yeah, you just want to stand in like this doorway. Uh, there's a doorway right here to my left. I'm about to start it in like five seconds. I realize I can go back in there. Boom. There it goes. So again, you stay on this roof. Uh, you perform the summoning. It is going to take another one of the items out of your bag. 
and then you just kill zombies while you're inside the circle on the roof. And again, a boss will spawn once you get enough kills inside the circle. Uh, you then kill the boss. A reward rift will spawn with the gold laptop with stickers. And the final ritual is going to be over here by the, uh, the gate area. You want to again shoot these three runes and then actually go on top of the gate. The like fence area and i'll show you guys exactly where i end up standing maybe actually i think my friend started this one but yeah you go to the corner over here then look over that way you'll understand it you've done two rituals already you guys know what to do but all you got to do once again is just kill zombies while you're inside the circle uh, for this one we got a boss mangler eventually and again once you kill the mangler the final boss in the final ritual you will get the imaginary friend drawing that is going to do it. You now have all four items. You can go over to the Dark Ether Rift and you can perform the ritual to unlock the brand new area in Modern Warfare Zombies. So first, we went ahead and put down the giraffe. Uh, all the different pedestals are like right around this area. They're very easy to find. I think the next one was the Science Journal. I ended up putting the drawing on there uh, and it didn't work. But yeah, we'll fast forward a little bit here. So yeah, we put the Science Journal then this one, I think this was the drawing. No, no, no. This was the laptop. Yeah, yeah, this was the laptop. And then we go to the last one, which is the imaginary friend drawing. And here we go. The portal finally spawns in. And there is like a mini boss. It's nothing really too crazy, though. Uh, you kill the mini boss and then you get instant access to the brand new hydroelectric area in Modern for Zombies. Uh, hydroelectric from Modern Warfare 2 is the brand new Dark Ether Zone. I will have gameplay on the brand new schematics and the Dark Ether Rift here in a little bit. The Elder Dark Ether Rift, but yeah, you just kill this boss. That's basically it, man. A portal is going to spawn. It's going to give you a sigil, and you've completed the Season 3 Reloaded Modern Warfare Zombies Easter Egg. If this video helped you guys out, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. We got some more Season 3 Reloaded videos on the way, man.